guys, welcome back to another video. My name's Underrated Hijabi, and in today's video, I am going to be doing a makeup tutorial. Guys, I haven't done these in a long time, and I really wanted to do something special for Eid. So I'm going to be showing you guys my Eid outfit, and also, we're going to do a makeup tutorial. The first thing I do before I do anything is I put on my Willie Duff. Make sure your faces are washed. Um, I love Willie Duff. I feel like it's so good. Can you guys see the moisturization? You can use any cream that you guys like. I love Willida, that's why I'm going to be using uh, Willida. Primer we'll be using is milk. Uh, squeeze a little bit in your fingers. Make sure your fingers are clean, guys. You don't want to get spots. Some there, some there, some there. Tiny bit down here and rub the excess on our, on our necks. Like this is a sick primer. Like when I tell you on the levels of like the top primers, this should be up there. Like this is so thick. Like it just like, can you guys feel it? That's how you know the primer is good if it makes that noise. Our lips, we are going to be putting on some Laneige. Uh, we don't want to have crusty lips. I always like this moisturizer. I carry this with me everywhere. This little thing cost me £20, but it lasts for months. It's super moisturizing, it, and I use it as my day-to-day -day lip balm. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing our eyebrows. What we're going to do is we're going to brush out our eyebrows. Right, so for my eyebrows, I use this sleek pal kit that I got from Boots. So as you guys can see, there's a gel part and there's a powder part. And this is the dark color. Is I like to do strokes. You know how your eyebrows are just strokes? Just do strokes like that. Let's do strokes. So you're just literally just like filling it in, pretending that these strokes are real eyebrows, but <laughs> get into the swimming pool, you're gonna see what real eyebrows are. <laughs> okay, just do strokes guys. Once you get to the middle, you just create strokes, like upward strokes. So it looks real. And then like, if you want to define it more and like create a shape, you can. So to do that, you just have to like grab it from the top. Like that. And then just create a line. This is how my eyebrows look. And now what we're going to do is we are going to conceal them. Two concealers that I conceal it with. I have a lighter concealer, which is Cookie, and then I have a concealer that's my skin tone, which is Mocha. These are Born This Way concealers, guys. Born This Way. I like to put a bit of each on the palm of my hand, like that. Uh, the other one here. These are my makeup brushes. I like to put them inside a, uh, this is called Jessup. I think I bought these on Amazon. They are quite cheap. They are cheap, I'm not gonna lie to you. So what we do is we mix them get a bit of this a little bit of this then i mix it i usually start like around this side because it's the part that that's like the most important okay can you guys see and just bend it through I'm going to get some mocha and I'm going to put it on the top. And you do the same here. You just go down like that. Once you go down, you go towards the middle of the top. And you just break it out, you know. The thing is about eyebrows, yeah, you can fix it as time goes on. Like, don't worry too tough about it. My eyebrows are inside. I'm going to brush them out. I'm going to use my real technique, the small one. This is called a crease brush. So what I do is I just, I just blend it out. When you brush it out, it kind of does, removes the harsh lines. Now what we're going to do is uh, my foundation. I use the Milani foundation. I, it's a concealer and perfect two-in-one foundation and concealer. I did not know that, you know. I, I've used, been using this for years and I use NARS. NARS is great for videos and photos because it makes your skin look like flawless. Amber Milani. And this is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I wear Cadiz. Squeeze one, two pumps. For every two pumps of my foundation, I add one pump of Kadith. Or maybe one pump and a bit. Two drops, yeah. I mix it. You have to mix it, guys, because you don't want one side to look lighter than the other. So I put some here. I put some here. Some on my forehead, because obviously you want that to be the same color. Some on my chin. Some here. Some here. And we'll save the access. Get our beautiful beauty blender. Make sure your beauty blender is damp. And what we do is we start off with this. Just so that there's a base, there's a layer. And now what we do is we blend. 
we lightly blend guys like we try to move it outwards so we go down here once we reach down here what we do is yeah we put some access on our neck because we want our neck to be the same color as our face a little bit on the uh under eyes on the mouth and then you do the eye, the forehead the forehead is also important guys some people don't put foundation on their foreheads that's your choice at the end of the day i put it because i want my face to seem like it's the same color just make sure you've blended it all in guys i like to do my concealer and let it sit while i do my contouring a lot of people what they do is they put a concealer that's their skin tone and then they put their brightener so what i do is this is the longwear concealer this is mocha mocha is my skin tone so that's why i like it so i apply it like i apply it here and here okay and i do the same with here and here okay get my beauty blender you know this beauty blender so this is the foundation side this is always my concealer side because i like the fact that it's not as wide so i just flip it so what i do is i blend this in i also put it here i always do that i like to put my own foundation color there i blend it out i'm gonna let this side set because this is where my smile lines are like i don't like it when it creases yeah, so I've done my concealer. That's like my skin tone. Now I'm going to be doing my brightening concealer. This is my brightening concealer. It is Huda Beauty. This one is uh, called Granola. Is this called Granola? Yeah, I think this is called Granola. Add a little bit here. It's really light, but it's a brightener, guys. So take it easy. Add it here. And a little bit there. Here. A little bit there. Add a bit here. Oh, I got a little hair there uh here and a little bit here um i do have another huda beauty it is a, a corrector and i like to put that towards the ends you just dab it in a little bit just add a little bit to the sides inside it's just like just so that it like it just mixes well with it do you know what i mean add some there add some a little bit here too now what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be doing my contour so this is my cream contour it is she glam Look how tiny that is. It's like a little thumb. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. We don't need that much. I'm not going to lie to you. Some there. There. Some there too. But guys, this is how it looks right now. Like, it's it's a bit mad. This is my bronzer blending brush. So we're going to be just blending this. Yeah, we're going to be blending our bronzer. We're letting our concealer sit. So let's just do this, okay? I know it looks harsh, but I can guarantee you it's not. This is the brush, it's an angle brush by the way, guys, I'm using. So it gets like, that side goes there, like, do you know what I mean? It's giving, what's supposed to give. And then we go here, do the same, blend it downwards. Can you guys see, can you guys see, can you guys see, see, see? Wow, that looks amazing, isn't it? And then you just come towards the bottom of the chin and you just like blend it in. Can you guys see it? We are also going to be using the Refi Cream Bronzer. We're going to use a bit of this, by the way, a bit. Start from the top. And then we go down. Can you guys see like how amazing that looks? And then we put some here on our eyebrow on here. And then some down here. You guys see the contour, like the shine in that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start blending. Okay, and as you guys can see, we blended that out as much as we can. And now we blend our um, forehead. Like that, blended our forehead. We do our cheek, like below. Oh, and we're going to do the bottom of our chin. And then we're going to blend this side in. So guys, we contour our nose in one straight line upwards. And you guys see, like, so I try to put the concealer this way and then contour my nose. Get the same bronzer brush just so I can add more definition. And then put that around. Just so it blends the concealers like that oof beauts guys this is how it looks now now what we're going to be doing guys is setting our face the two parties i'll be setting it with the laura mercier you want to prison rose so the first thing i do is i set it with this one <laughs> let's quickly blend this out so i tap it one more time that's only me i use the same beauty blender that i use for the concealer to set my concealer because i'm not going to be using this again 
Do you know what I mean? I make sure that, that both sides are done and they are. And then now I'm going to tap it like this. This is my trick. Blow it, tap it a little bit and then put it in Bismillah. Beautiful. Love the way that looks. Do the same here. Here. I love doing my... <laughs> there isn't a lot. I like to, I really like to dig in. So I put that on top like that. Into, and then we just put this at the axis that we have here, by the way, guys, the leftover. We can put that on our foreheads and on our chins here. Some of this on our eyeshadow. Just so that this sets too. Add a bit of this. I like my I like to set my eyeshadow, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Because I also get some Givenchy, okay? I get a bit of it. It's pink. Can you guys see it's so cute and pink? So we're gonna be adding some of this. I like to put this on here first and foremost. It's so fluffy, like look at it, like it's so fluffy. I'm going to do the same thing. So grab a bit, blow it. Can you guys see? Can you guys see? And then I'm gonna just add it on top. I literally just add it on top. I like to put it on my nose a lot because because that area, yeah, is the sweatiest part. And do the same here. Guys, it has like some sort of glitterness to it. And then I just do it here. And then put some here on your nose, just like a line on your nose. And then some here. I feel like this looks a bit mad. I'm not going to lie to you. It looks like I've just got like so much powder on my face. But this is what keeps it for the whole day. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Like the whole day, uh, I'm going to be out. So I don't want like, I don't, I don't like reapplying my makeup when I'm out. I just like to reapply one thing. And that's called my lippy because your girl's going to be eating good. Guys, while we're waiting for the setting spray to sit in, we could just do our eyebrows. Fix them up. Because you know your eyebrows, yeah? They're like... You started it off, they don't need to be perfect at the beginning. They could be perfect as we go along. Do you know what I mean? We have not done our makeup. Uh, we've let it sit for a bit. What I like to do is I like to use the access that I've got left over in my hand. I lightly take off the access with a big brush like, like that. You don't need to do too much, guys. Don't worry if there's uh, patches. So I like to go like this and just remove it lightly, guys. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a lot of bronzer. We're going to be setting our bronzer. We have a deep, dark MAC mineralizer. And we're going to be using that to mineralize our face. This is a MAC mineralizer. It's in skin deep. Okay, let's grab some. Go like that, guys. Just like literally just brush it in. on top of your bronzer by the way guys I'm gonna put it on top of our bronzers sift it. we're just literally just setting it in for blush guys i like to use this this is the red beauty nearly more of a so grab a bit with your fingers and we're literally just tapping it We've done our cream contours, we've done our blushes, we've done everything that we needed to do. The only thing that we've got left to do now is to do our eyeshadow. And that's what we're going to be doing. For our eyeshadow, we'll be using the Palm Beauty. This is, we're going to be using the Mykonos, uh, Mauritius one. Um, and we're also going to be using our Dior on top. So this is our Dior, um, it's called Satin Poncho. We're going to be using this on top of our eyelids. I'm going to start with a bit of mar Marbs. And then I'm going to get into the Mauritius. So we're just going to get it. And then we're just going to go inside. And we're going to try and flick a bit of it on the top. Do you know what I mean? Flick a little bit. Marbs again. Get the marbs. And we're just, li <laughs> you're literally just like trying to like create some sort of like, I don't know, a landscape on your eyebrows. On your, eye on your eyeshadow. Once you've done that, we're going to go to Mauritius. And we're just going to be adding some Mauritius on the insides. Guys, yeah, the trick to having non-harsh lines is blending. So keep blending. And now what we're going to be doing is we're going to add this on everywhere we need. 
We're literally going to be adding this everywhere. I'm going to get one of these flatty brushes and then we're just going to get some. Out of this, close the lash, add it on the top. Just add a bit of sprinkle, do you know what I mean? You don't really see much, but you will. Give me a sec. Oh, guys, that's a nice colour, you know? And then here again, we're going to be doing the same. Basically, like, just look at that. We're just going to just go over on top of it, just slightly, like in a line, like that. And then just like put some here and then do the same here. Just go over it on, with a line and just put it here because we don't want to touch it at all. Okay. So we're going to be using the same brush. What we're going to be doing is we're going to go back to our Mauritius and we're just going to put it under the eye to the bottom. And then do the same, get some Mauritius and put it here too. Start off at the end and then just bring it in. Start at the end, bring it in. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So to spray our face, we're going to be using these two. This is the Milk Hydro Script set and this is uh, the Too Faced setting spray. We're going to use this first and then we're going to use this afterwards. Usually I don't spray my eyeshadow because it does something to my eyeshadow. So I usually cover it. I don't know why I didn't do that now. Once that's dried up guys, we are now going to be adding the other setting spray, which is this one. This is called the Hangover 3 in 2. I just don't like to put it on my eyeshadow. You guys can see it is like glistening. It has now dried up. As you guys can see, we're going to do some mascara. Shall I use a black mascara or shall I use a brown mascara? I'm going to be using a brown mascara. You know what my trick is? It's literally like trying to get every single one and then pushing it like grab it like that and then push inwards like like you're going like that that way okay not too much don't want to be looking like a zigzag and now i'm going to go with another layer with this eye with the last one i like to pull it out a bit like I'd, i like to do this thing called like you just like try and have like a little bit more on this side at the end because it creates like a longer lash and then on my bottom lids, I like to also add a tiny bit. Just look at this. Oh, this one's a bit messed up, but that's fine. But can you guys see the difference? I like to make this side like longer. So I like use this part for the ending just so like it looks a bit longer because I don't really wear eyelashes. And this is how everything looks, guys, from... Okay, now we're going to do the last but not least step and that is going to be our lippy! so we have our chestnut mac and we have our hourglass i believe this is ruse our hourglass ruse so we're going to be putting both of these on our lips i always start from the bottom then the top now what we're going to be doing is adding our amazing hourglass huh can you guys see the difference and then you put on the bottom lip look at this it's a mashallah allah barak to me bro and now it's time for me to get ready and show you guys my Eid outfit. Guys, this is my final Eid look. This is my bag from Zara, my abaya for Aviana, and my beautiful shoes are from an amazing place called Meshki. And I'm just wearing a black slip-on and an abaya scarf. This is the final look, guys. Eid will to everybody, and I hope you guys have an amazing Eid.